there is a very real and growing concern about rising aggression against politicians here at Queen's Park, especially with the election coming. Police and the sergeant at arms are watching this closely. In the past few weeks alone, there's been an increasing number of constituent offices vandalized. In one case, a suspect videotaped it and put it on Instagram. Guess where I am, and I feel like having some fun today. They don't have answers for me, so it's time to play some games here. Mr. Deepak Anand, you know. This egging incident happened at MPP Deepak Anand's Mississauga office three weeks ago. This one was captured by security video at MP Vance Badeway's office in Welland. There was a suspicious fire yesterday at Liberal MP Peter Fonseca's office. MPP Lisa Thompson's office had what is believed to be feces and egg thrown at it. MPP Jill Andrew and John Van Thoff's offices were also targeted, as was Dolly Begum's this past Sunday. It's just really shocking for me. Uh, to, to see that happen because it is also a place of work, not just for myself, but for my entire team. City News has confirmed with the Sergeant at Arms at Queen's Park that there is a concerning escalation of vandalism and threats against members from all political parties. Each incident is tracked daily and they're working with police intelligence to assess. Angry protests have also been taking place at Premier Doug Ford's home. In one instance, a man with a large butcher knife was arrested at his front door. Health Minister Christine Elliott has also had protesters at her home, as well as Stephen Lecce. Along with the Premier, he has had to have increased OPP security. I definitely don't discount that uh, some of these intimidation tactics are uncomfortable for, for a lot of people, but we just got to keep going and we have a job to do. Political protests have always occurred, but many say there is a different tone to them now. <laughs> Gravel was thrown at Justin Trudeau during the federal election. There's a very real concern the approaching provincial election in June could also prove to be a target for anger. I usually put my family's picture on my election brochures and what I send out. I'm not going to do that this year. Liberal MPP John Fraser says he's experienced verbal and physical threats. What we saw happen in Ottawa and across the country gave a license for people to do the kind of things that they're doing. And it's, you know, it is a scary time. At some points, you have to say this isn't safe. And I think all of us have felt that. Um, it's something that comes with the job, but right now, um, I've seen more of it than, I, than I've seen, uh, and I've been around for not just the eight years I've been elected, but. Uh, 25 years. Paul Calandra is the government house leader. Do I think there'll be more security? Probably, I think it would be, but ultimately uh, you still want to keep it as open as possible and not forget this is... Where's the balance? Th th where, yeah, where's the balance? And This is Canada and let's not overreact to what we have seen. The Sergeant at Arms has made up this security guide for MPPs and their staff. In the next couple of weeks, they'll be holding a presentation to teach de-escalation techniques and tips on how to deal with the rising aggression. No one I've spoken to today can remember a time when it has been at this level.